Early forecast models aim tropical storm Isaiah's at Bahamas and South Florida 11 p.m. Tuesday update The good news about a newly developed potential tropical cyclone is that it's not expected to become a hurricane but, unfortunately, it does look like rain and tropical storm force winds are possible along its path toward Florida by the weekend. At 11 p.m., the disturbance was located 235 miles east of the Leeward Islands with 40 miles per hour winds and a minimum pressure of 1,007 megabytes. It is moving west-northwest at a rapid 25 miles per hour pace, and this general motion with some slight reduction in speed is expected over the next few days. Some strengthening is expected during the next 48 hours, and the system is forecast to become a tropical storm on Wednesday. On the forecast track, the system is forecast to move through the Leeward Islands on Wednesday, near or over the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico Wednesday night and near or over Hispaniola on Thursday. The U.S. National Hurricane Center in Miami issued tropical storm warnings for Puerto Rico, the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, Antigua, Barbuda, Dominica, Martinique, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, Guadeloupe, Martinique, St. Martin, St. Martin, Saba and St. Eustatius. A tropical storm warning means that tropical storm conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area within 36 hours. Tracking the tropics, interactive map, watches warnings A hurricane reconnaissance plane is investigating the tropical wave to determine if any of the thunderstorms are beginning to cluster. If so, it could be named Isaiah's by Wednesday. The long-term forecast showed the storm headed toward the southeastern U.S., though the Hurricane Center said, it cannot be stressed enough that since the system is still in the formative stage, greater than average uncertainty exists regarding both the short-term and longer-term track and intensity forecasts. There are several roadblocks to the development of a dangerous hurricane that work in our favor. All but two forecast models keep the tropical wave from becoming a hurricane. It appears strong upper-level winds due to a shearing trough west of the wave could prevent the disturbance from intensifying to a hurricane. Land interaction with Puerto Rico and Hispaniola could also disrupt organization. Dry air envelops the stretched-out clouds in the tropical wave which should slow the growth process. Clouds will need to centralize before winds increase. Because it could become a tropical storm by the time it reaches the Lesser Antilles, potential advisories are being issued by the National Hurricane Center. Opening parenthesis dot closing parenthesis. It is many days away. Projecting impacts this far in advance will have wide adjustments in the forecast until the system becomes better organized. The Weather Authority will monitor the tropical waves progress and it wouldn't impact South Florida until Saturday at the earliest.